This is it. The final push. It's time. Lock and load. For all the marbles. Welcome in everyone. This is the finale of our journey to get Deke as OP AF ASAP. Whew. Is it just me or does it feel like I've already played a full game already? <laughs> yep, this is this is the final uh, episode that I'm producing for this little adventure of mine with the whole point being to show all you folks this exciting new way to start the game in a vastly different way than I'm sure was originally intended. Deer crossing, wow, that's not too smart, even without the traffic. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, look at all that meat. And I could probably read all your minds right now saying, why don't you just stop? Your loadout is amazing. You could easily take out all that and the freakers and not even worry about it. Well, I just feel like letting opportunity pass me by in this instance and just move on to the next thing. Right now, I'm just heading back to the MMU because it's getting late in the day and we can't stay overnight at Wizard Island. There's no place for me to stay there. And oh, no, no, ugh, ugh. no, 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 oh, no, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I don't know how to ride. So again, <laughs> not a lesson. And I don't know ugh, how to walk through water either. Ah, oh, jeez. Well. This is, this is a good opportunity to show off <laughs> the latest purchase. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> oh, oh, and thanks for letting me know that I got uh, trust level one at Wizard Island. That's, it's a little late to show me now since I already was over there and bought everything, but sure. Uh, yeah. So even though Boozer took his shotgun away from us, I think I found a pretty good replacement for it. Okay. Yeah, I took a little bit more damage than I really wanted to. Nah, I'm not gonna reload just now. It's, it's all good. Main point being is I want to be here to take on the next steps during the light of day. And by the way, this area that I just uh, almost killed myself on, that little mound right there is a good, easy kill location for the horde that will spawn later in the game. So you might want to keep track of that as well. Okay. So let's uh, get close here, park it, fuel up. Yeah, three, three o'clock, it's still early but the sun goes down pretty fast so i'm just gonna take the time to get prepped for the for the next morning the next day Done. <laughs> can drop it anytime deke yeah okay I'm just gonna grab so shot. while deke is uh hitting the hay here just going to review the last few things we're going to... Last few. It's quite a bit, actually. Ready to go back at the next thing is to get the fuel tank from Diamond Lake, which will be the largest fuel tank in the game, which will be a huge advantage. To get the skill point to give Deke the carry that weight ability. Going to return to Lost Lake and fight two more hordes to get that coveted SMP-9. And lastly, during my return route to the Cascades, scavenge all the loot locations I know of along the way. Time to rise and shine 
and make our way over to this spot. To the Shamalt Community College to deal with two things. The Horde, which needs to be eliminated before we tackle the MMU. And that was another reason why in the previous episode, in order to finish up getting the final few points, I didn't want to waste a lot of resources taking out a horde, but rather find a survivor that we could rescue, whose trust points for saving them put us over the top at Wizard Island. Okay, here we go. So Highway 97 it is. There are a lot of endgame hordes yeah. I've seen what you assholes are up to. that will spawn here once you actually get to this region through the normal course of the game. But right now, we have a couple of hordes available to us. And we will be taking out two of them. Another nest zone. I gotta burn this shit down and make it safer. I'll come back later, finish burning out these nests. And a few of what Deke just said, taking down a few nests. Damn it, sniper ambush. Oh. Let's see. Well, not on that ridge. Maybe I can get by. Oh, you... S <sighs> <laughs> okay, guys. Say hello to my little friend. I had fun with that one, I have to admit. Oh yeah. Bye bye 9mm. <laughs> Hello, little stubby. I mean, for me, this is going to be a game changer just because I have this weapon early on. Where's that sniper? Where is he? Oh. Yeah, well, there's no point calling out, pal. Well, your buddies are. You like that asshole? I guess you won't be ambushing anyone else today. It's just so hit and miss with me. <laughs> I don't get it. It's like sometimes I can nail him in one shot, and then other times it's like wasting a whole clip. I don't know. All right, well, let's, yeah, let's fix, fix the bike, because I think, I think a Marauder there had some scrap. I'll go back and get it off him. But yeah, so after this little thing, minor interruption, we're going to go to the Shemult Community College Horde and take them down first. As I was saying before, there are two hordes that we're going to take down. One starting with the Shemult Community College. And then just to the left there is going to be the Groose Gardens horde. But first off, we need to get into the, uh, into the whole area. And you can see the path we took. Ah, still way early in the game. And one of the ways we can get there is a little pathway up those rocks. Yep, Deke's legs of steel. They come in in handy, don't they? Up and over. There you go. And then we're just going to park the bike right over here, which is an easy kill zone to deal with the horde just in case things go south. And I'm just gonna, yep, test, oh, it's too close, too close to the edge. I'll back up, yeah, right there. Okay, that should be good. And go down and zoom back up. Okay, this is just gonna be my fallback zone in case things go south. 
But this is where we are going to make good use of all the wonderful items that we've accumulated. Mostly the attractors and then the grenades. The idea being we're going to get into a good position just out of their line of sight and then hit them hard and hit them fast and mop up whatever's left. Here we go. Shouldn't be too many left. <laughs> A rock. That's not what I wanted. Ugh. Sometimes the weapon wheel really sucks. Okay, didn't work from there. But it works from there. Nah, they're not that many. Hello, friend. <laughs> Yeah, me likey. Me likey a lot. But of course the... Uh... Wow, all right. That was totally worth it. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't have to take out the Mount Bailey Horde in a previous one and just save it all for this, because that was worth it. All right. Yeah, look at that. Look at that carnage. Beautiful. All right, so this is going to require a little God bit more. Damn it. Fuse blown. Yep, got to find that fuse. And gas up the Jenny. Take down the speakers, of course. And collect all them freakers. Thank you so much. Nope. Wrong direction. Uh, no, actually, you're heading in the right direction. And that's where that is. So that tent there, the second tent. <laughs> it feels, yes. And now you don't have to go on that adventure of search and seek and destroy, but... I do need some bottles because there are three freaker nests in the vicinity. One more, come on, where are you? Oh, there you are. No one's around here, some wires. All right, I only need three for right now. There are a total of six nests in this infestation zone, but there's only three up here at the college. The other three are down on the highway. We'll get to them later. Another one. Yeah, time to light it up. Well, I've got the stamina, so I'm going to use the run. <laughs> I'm going to run like crazy. And one more over there, but it looks like, it looks like the party started. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure, out for a little stroll. Naturally. Get some distance. Oh, too close. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> ah. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Uh. Well. It sucks. At least it's quick. Yeah, you know, I think from every playthrough that I'm going to do from now on, I'm always going to do this first. <laughs> it, that, that, that gun, that little stubby is just, it's too good not to have. <laughs> I can see why they left it to way later in the game, but oh my goodness, how much fun is it? Especially like that. I mean, close quarter contact like that? No. I, I can't see a better weapon to have early game if you can, like when you can get it this early. Oh yeah, come on. Of course. <laughs> he trips and I, I blow away an explosive. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that killed me. That killed me. That uh, should be it. Uh, do I? No. Not yet. Oh, I'm trying... Oh. I keep pressing X to want to drop <laughs> the gas can, but he just keeps... Yeah, just throw it. Yeah, okay, or that, yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Fuse blown. It makes a wonderful sound, too. I'll let you do it. It is a firecracker, isn't it? Listen to that. Listen just to the sound of it. Just echoes everywhere. It's perfect. Am I gushing too much about that gun? I, I, I think I am a little bit. But it's my playthrough, so I'm going to gush about it. And that should do it. Oh, here we go. Those three speakers on the light stands. Done. And then the six on each of these Nero trailers. Oh, yes. Just doing this to get the full clip inside the gun there so that when I go to the locker, I can just load her up. Huh, normally it shows me that the locker's in here. How come it's not showing me? Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I gotta actually go to the other trailer and get the Nero injector, which will then end the side quest. An injector? Nero had all the good shit. Health it is. Yeah, I'm maximum stamina now, so. And we've maxed out on the skill points there. 12,000 out of 12,000, so that's cool. So that means we should be getting an indication that we have a skill point. Yes, no, maybe. Ah, sometimes the game lags. That's okay. We know we have it. Yeah, and this is... So I'm going to keep the US 556. Still pretty good, but it's good to know I have that extra one in there. There we go. And let's do this. To be able to acquire this skill 
before you've played the bulk of the game really is absolutely a game changer in my opinion because not only will you be able to pack away in your magic bag twice the number of items that the game starts you off with from three to six you'll also be able to pack away pretty much twice the number of crafting items that you scavenge around the world for. But for right now, I don't have a lot. Because there are three nests to take care of just outside of uh, the college grounds here. And essentially do a rinse and repeat. So I'm gonna go after a horde, collect some items that will be necessary to take on the final three nests, and there you go. Now again, because the US-556 is not part of the locker, I gotta load up using tins. And this is a perfect location to nab a ton of ammo before the assault on the horde. It's almost like the devs knew this could be a strategy. <laughs> so they really packed this area with plenty of out in the open ammo. Unfortunately, once you grab the tins, they won't respawn. But for a single case use like the one I'm about to attempt, it's perfect. It's exactly what you need to take care of the situation as it is. Just gonna reload. I think I have everything I need as far as uh, ammo goes. Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, I was more worried about the five five six, but there's only three clips for it, and good to go. gonna be hard to ride in quietly on this noisy ass bike but we're still gonna be out of sight so we can only hear but not see and to show you where it's at the horde is right there and I'm gonna be exploiting an easy kill location on the house nearest to me it's easier it's not totally untouchable And here we go. This is the tricky part. Made it. Time to go to town on these guys. Okay, let's get them out to play. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna try to see if I can do this. Never tried it before? Oh yeah. Nice! Nice little bonus. I don't know how many he took out, but... Some is better than none. And seeing that gas can there, I probably should have used that too. Oh well, next time. Maybe you can try it for your playthrough. This horde is actually a good use case for gas can duplication. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna get on that side. Time to move to the other side, because they're just all congregated inside the house. Now this is what I meant by not entirely untouchable. Because they can climb up when they're all bunched up. <laughs> like that guy. Oh, and that guy, son of a...
Yeah, step right up, pal. Oh. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Boozer can keep his damn shotgun. The hell with him. Let him have it. I got my little puppy right here that I'm going to be using. <laughs> Now, should I? Uh, nah. I'll, I'll, I'll stick this out with the guns. I'll stick it out. I'm not great at it, but there are not that many left, so we're good. For you, I saved my little friend. <laughs> Sweet. And we're pretty close to that level one trust at Diamond Lake now. All right. And looky what we have here. Why not? Love those dynamic tins. It's like they know what weapon you're carrying and just give you the right amount of ammo for it. They're magic. Those magic tins. All right. There you are. Useful. And there you are. And that'll take care of what we need. Let's reload all these puppies. Yeah, so we're ready for anything out there. Let's see, let's just get all the free careers while we're at it. I don't think there's too much in here. Oh, I'll take that, thank you. Oh, and another bottle, yes. Can we? <laughs> Look at that. With that carry that weight already, we're way ahead. Need more bottles. Am I hurt? How badly? Yeah, I'm, I'm hurt. I'm a little hurt. No, not the health cocktail. Thank you very much. All right. Time to deal with those last few infestation nests. Before the end of the day comes to a close. And there's one over there. I never did finish burning out this nesting zone. No, I know you didn't finish. Just, just give it a sec. I'm going to want to make a quick getaway, so... Alright, let's... Save that. And head on over. Get them ready. At the ready, men! Weapon at the ready! Okay, relax. Don't want to use up too, sta too much stamina. Because we'll want to make a pretty quick getaway. Where is it? God damn, it's got to be close. Up and away. Oh, nobody came after me for them. Okay. One more to go. And then... 
I was going to say I was off to see the wizard, but we're not going to see the wizard. We're going to see the diamond. <laughs> My pun was ruined. It was ruined. There it is. That experience will go nicely to another skill point that will become, I think, kind of important. I mean, we already have carried that weight, but this will go to something really important. And better yet, look at that. Diamond Lake Level 1 Trust achieved. That gas tank is just ready and waiting now. <laughs> That's the last nest. Should make it safer to ride through here now. Before we head back there, let's take a look at what we're going to be using it for. Carry that weight, already acquired. That's fantastic. But I think... This one, field repairs. Being able to repair the melee weapon with scrap back in Cascades, especially having the superior metal axe with us is probably the best next skill to have. Yes, you can always come back and now you know the route and retrieve a new one, but couple that with the carry that weight skill that allows you to carry twice as much scrap as well, probably best to just Stick in the cascades and bust some heads. <laughs> now, it's getting close to night here. And I think uh, the best bet will be to just head back and advance the clock from the MMU. Alrighty, once again, engage the legs of steel. Like that. <laughs> oh, they're going to be persistent. They're going to follow me. Yeah, here they come. All right. No, pal. My little friend. There we go. Good night, Gracie. <laughs> All right, let's get this puppy filled up. Oh, I can open the door with the thing. All right. Yeah, we're going to keep the US 556 for now. But we'll just uh, get everybody maxed out. Okay, and how about you? Yeah. Not much there. And there. All right. So now if we look, we've got six. Not too much left on that one, but I didn't go, but he's fully charged. And now we can add up to six items in every category now. Oh, might as well craft them. Awesome. And now that we have the repair ability, we can repair it as needed. But for right now,
Time to take a little bit of a nap. And then wrap up this little adventure by heading off to Diamond Lake and getting our tank upgrade. That's going to be pretty powerful to have for the rest of the game. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, I'll take that before we get out of here. Now there is a shortcut that I'm going to take that's going to be pretty near this ambush camp up there. It's near that camp. There's a cave that goes through that section. So this way we don't have to go all the way around. And Diamond Lake is actually pretty close from there. Okay. Let's make like a tree and leave. Good morning! Oh, sorry. Sorry. Now should we... Nah. <laughs> I was debating whether I should get ammo from that car, but I'm pretty full up at this point. For what we're going to be doing. For you braver souls, there's an ambush camp right there, not that far from the college, so if you're feeling adventurous and want to take it on, all good to go. Yeah, who's that? I don't know who that is. Nobody you need to worry about. Oh yeah, and by the way, Another there's an injector in here. Good. Back to Crater Lake from Highway 97 and we're off to Diamond Lake in particular. You know what, there's two cop cars here, so. I'm gonna get some ammo for the US 556. Once you've looted the cop cars of their tins, they do not respawn. So they just don't. They do not respawn. Which, for the majority of the game, is just fine because normally you're going to go to a camp and resupply your weapons, your ammo, over there anyway. And again, that's another thing in the game. You're not really going to be at a loss for cash. Because once you're following the main game and completing missions, every camp that you're going to eventually have a level 3 trust at will have more than enough cash to deal with whatever end game side quests you decide to pursue. This should be pretty uneventful.
once we get the gas tank upgraded, the cascades are going to be pretty easy to take care of. Almost there. Not with that we need to worry about it anymore, but let's say you haven't acquired the skill to repair the melee weapon. If you come in the back way here, near the near the petrol station, and you come to this particular burned out building you've got another one right there so if you felt like you need to fix up the superior metal axe there are plenty of locations I saw him with Captain Curry let him in to get them again once you've used them up okay there's Lucas, our favorite Canadian. Hey, hey there. Hello. Next to Grey Ghost Gamers, of course. Uh, I haven't <laughs> seen you around before. Ooh, oh, yeah, you haven't seen me around yeah, before. Uh, I just shipped in, you know. Uh, Deacon St. John. Well, but here we go. Take a look around. I, I, I got all kinds Full of capacity if you got credits. gas tank. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Now another thing we could do is get the suspension upgraded because it's pretty much the max that you're going to get. A piece of equipment right there. And then last but not least for my situation is absorb water damage. Because God knows I'm going to fly through some of those lakes and creeks and rivers and rivulets and whatnot and the less scrap i have to waste repairing that kind of damage the better okay then now i've made a conscious choice to not gas up because to be honest i'm a little curious how the gas is going to hold up we've swapped out essentially a crappy gas tank even though we marginally improved it by getting that smallish upgrade but now we have the largest gas tank in the game with a little fuel left but what's interesting is is that it's proportionately little so it's a neat little trick here where the, I think there was like maybe 12% originally. I didn't have a lot of gas left in the tank really getting there. But once we changed it to the maximum size of the tank, we kind of hacked the game a little bit because it considers the percentage of fuel left in the tank. I know all you math geeks are, and math nerds are going to like calculate what the what that actually means, but essentially I think it means is that we got free gas <laughs> for nothing because yeah, we had a small tank and we only had 12% left in that small tank, but now that we have the huge tank we had 12% for that huge tank. So yeah, I think I think we just scammed Lucas at Diamond Lake, which Oh man, that's that's great. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm I'm just not, I'm going to I think I can make it to the MMU on the gas that I have left. Because it's the gas in the bigger tank and not the small one. Cuz if I had the small one yeah, I'd have to gas up by now. I'd never make it even this far. But let's just see. Let's take it all away. <laughs> so, 
if you can get to Diamond Lake with even a small amount of gas left in the tank, by the time you upgrade the tank, it's going to be enough to take you quite a ways away. Yeah, there, so yeah, so you can see as I'm just I'm showing you just as we pass the cop cars that we've already looted, the uh, the tins do not respawn. So we're almost there, and now we can go through water, and I don't have to worry about it. Ah, oh, thank God for that. Because sometimes I never remember where I'm turning off. I just like hang a left, hang a right, and oh yeah, there's a body of water I didn't take into account. Wow. Okay, we made it. Made it to the MMU. What's left? Fuel can. Yeah, fuel can. Two. And look at that too. Now you can see that the numbers are not advancing as quickly as they did when I had the smaller tank. So yeah, we th this this is final confirmation. If there was any doubt. That's it. Oh yeah. I can use this. That's amazing. Yeah, we just <laughs> we scammed Lucas. I love it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, some, I don't know how to walk either. <laughs> how to how to maneuver around obstacles. That should be another video on it its own. <laughs> so we've gotten level one trust at Wizard Island, which has given this wonderful arsenal of weaponry. We've achieved level one trust at Diamond Lake, which now gave us that huge gas tank, which will essentially provide the ability. If you have fast travel, I can't even imagine what that does for, for your ability to move around the game. And then we've also acquired the carry that weight ability for Deke. So we're, oh, hey, hello. Guess a couple of freakers took that puppy out. Ah, neat. I can't pick that up yet. But we are also able to, with that skill, double the amount of inventory of crafted items from three to six. And I'm just pointing out on the map that this is our exit point. So we've accomplished pretty much all that I'm gonna do, that all I wanted to do was get Deke OP AF. And now it's time to head back to Lost Lake. As much as I really enjoy having Little Stubby as that excellent replacement for Boozer's shotgun, horde hunting and having a good precision weapon in the SMP9 is going to make a fine addition to, to our arsenal and just, you know, again, add to the overpoweredness of Deke's arsenal. And we only have to defeat two more hordes to do that. Now I could go all the way back to the Cascades and take on some smaller hordes. But I'm just going to head over to Lost Lake because again, it's the as soon as possible portion of getting that SMP9. So we can do that very easily here. Boom! <laughs> oh dear! What a coward. I just killed your wife, man. <laughs> Doe a deer. Done.
Yeah, there's so many loot possibilities now. I mean, just at the Beaver Marsh area, there's tons of loot, but I'm just going to skip that. Because the priority now is to get the SMP9, and I want to get back again as soon as possible to take on the hordes that I need to defeat in order to get that weapon. Literally approaching the end of the world, get back into Lost Lake. And this is this is your exit point. So once you've done everything you're going to do in Crater Lake, this is how we escape. I brought up the map, but I implore you to make a save game. Because what I'm about to demonstrate in one shot will require possibly a few attempts to complete because we are using Deke's legs of steel to power up these rocks but it's right here where you sort of kind of have to maneuver a little to the right so that it pushes the bike left into that crevice to be able to make our way up the rest of the rocks. And then from there, we're following a straight line just past this rock on the left, and then you hang a left, right there. Because going straight ahead, you'll run into an invisible wall. And then we focus on this clump of trees here, hang a little bit of a right, and now it's gonna be a straight shot pretty much to the border. Once you see that ski lift pylon, you know you're headed in the right direction. And you can keep an eye on things with these large pines with the snow that's just going up a little bit up the trunk. You can use those to guide your way to the border region. And here we are. Once you see the different textured snow, that indicates the border between the two regions. Now you can cross there if you want, have some fun experimenting or whatnot, but save your game in case you fall into oblivion. <laughs> and once you get past a certain point, you can actually just do what I'm doing and just coast. Now there's a little mound there to the right, and that's what we're aiming for. Because as far as crossover points going from region to region goes, this is one of the best ones. Now you can clip that. These three trees on the right, past those. There's this rock dead ahead of us and we're gonna head left. And we're gonna make our way between these two pines and then just head down, keep the brakes on to avoid the million foot drop. But instead, make it a half million foot drop. <laughs> the best part about it is we're already at an MMU. There's that chittering. I wonder, is it the is it the criers? That chitter like that? Very interesting. I can't fix this. Alright, took a little bit more damage than uh, I wanted. I got a use for you. And out of force of habit, I'm fueling up. But look at that, 83%. Yeah, that just changes a lot of how you can approach the game and, and what you can do as side missions compared to just doing main missions. I'll take that. Now, oddly enough, when it comes to... Oh, we're going to craft another one there. But as you can see, categories are now six, except for the med kits. Med kits will not go beyond three. They won't let you have more than three. Tough noogies. 
One of the big reasons I chose the route to get to this MMU to stay overnight at is because out of the two hordes left to engage to acquire the SMP9, one of them is very close to this location. Uh, not a ton of stuff. We didn't uh, resupply too much or be able to craft too much. But we're not dealing with sawmill size horde levels. In fact, we're not even dealing with the levels of freakers that we had to deal with at Shamult. These guys are only 75 strong. And you can see, like, it, it, it took no time to get here to this particular horde, which is the Burley Lake Horde. And they are deep inside the cave, and we have really just one throwable that should be good enough, and then the rest is running and gunning. I don't have a grenade, so it's too bad, but... Yeah, bye! <laughs> I'm going to try and use the terrain as much as possible. Oh, there's got to be more than that. Good thing I have a lot of ammo because I can't aim for crap. Yeah, when they get spread out like that, it sucks. Oh, that was a little better. Oh yeah, they weren't expecting me to double back on them. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you know what's coming, right? <laughs> Whoa! Ah. Nice. <laughs> and a nice little finish there. <laughs> Probably a lot more running than uh, most people would do, but hey, works for me. I'll take it. Ah, it's still early in the day, so we've got time. Where am I going? Oh, maybe I can take care of this guy. Shit, squatter patrol. Where'd you get the bike, huh? <laughs> I'll take these freakers. Not that I can do anything with them here, but... My bike's here anyway. Alright, done. I love having the stamina all maxed out. All right, one down.
I'm just going to head back to the MMU and rearm. Since we are so close. Oh, there's a bottle I missed. Okay. Where are we at? That's the last clip of that one. But that's all right. Because we can fill up with that. Since we just got 1900 bucks. Why not? It's right here. <laughs> There's that chittering little bunkie. I'm not too worried about having throwables for the next hoarding counter. Guns should do it. And right there is the Burley Lake Horde we just took out for your reference. So you can see the following path all the way where we crossed over from the Crater Lake region over the mountains down to this MMU, the Santium Pass MMU, and the Burley Lake Horde. Now, as I'm looking at things, I think I'm going to stock up on a few items. Because there is a loot location very close to the Sawmill Horde. And since I'm already at this side of the map, again, trying to think of the most efficient way to get all the things I really want to go after trying not to go too much out of the way. Otherwise, what the hell do I have the words ASAP in my titles for? <laughs> if we're just gonna go whenever the hell we want, uh, you could do that. It's, it's too tempting. It's too tempting. I'm right here. I'm right next to this MMU. So you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm going to go in here too and loot it. That's pretty much at the point of the of this series is where we're at. Now now it's just a matter of looting as much as we can and arriving back at Copeland's camp in the Cascades with as much stuff as possible. So, Deke is pretty OP at this point. And by all means, definitely worth going back to the Cascades and loading up stuff. But now that we've got, especially now that we've got the carry that weight skill, you can see that it's, it's a, I can have a field day now just stocking up on all these provisions. These are all great items I can use to craft a multitude of of things with because now instead of just being limited to carry maybe five I can carry ten the kerosene is just yeah I mean, we've picked up more than five kerosene at this point and that's just the supplies that are here in the MMU if you feel brave and you want to take on the horde and wipe them out, there's plenty of supplies in those buildings as well. Yeah, I'll take bottles anytime I can find them. Yep, while we're here. Because the other thing, too, is that taking care of hordes, ambush camps, infestation zones, they provide a lot of cash. That is not something that you will necessarily need to worry about. 
Yeah, don't walk out without grabbing that. Come on, Deke. Being able to rearm at MMUs, even though you're just stuck with what's in your locker, the more cash you get at these camps early on, obviously the less you gotta worry about running out of ammo. You can just rearm. <laughs> yeah, I can hear the horde over there. <laughs> I can hear them. Now this one's a bust. Get out of here. Come on, D. Go. <laughs> this will be the last. Uh, yeah, more kerosene. Take it all. Every little bit. Love it. Lots of Molotov crafting items in this section of the game. So with four kerosene left, I had nine that I was able to use for those Molotovs. That's fantastic. All right, that's it for the sawmill. I'm I'm going to that pond now, because there's a couple of items there that are also useful. And wonderfully, they respawn as well. Yeah, by the time I get back here, maybe during normal course of the play, or even during the missions themselves, I might just take a break and it's like, oh, time to get some more grenades and stuff. Just head over here. Now you know where the shortcut is. Yeah, look at that. Right in that crate. Beautiful. And a tractor bomb. Perfect. Excellent items to deal with the hordes. Okay, that's this section dealt with. I already planned out my next horde that I want to take out. Because it's on the way to Iron Butte and three awesome loot locations in Iron Butte that I just got a scavenge before I head back to the Cascades. That's that's going to be a a must see. A must grab. See you later sawmill. Obviously, the next thing I wish I could upgrade sooner rather than later is just the speed of this thing. My god, on survival too. <laughs> oh, I miss fast travel in this instance. I'm just going through Iron Mikes as a shortcut. But you can see, even just dealing with those hordes. <laughs> God, dude, relax. Like 3,400 to 5,000 and then almost 10,000 bucks right there. Yeah, not really too worried about that. Down there is a survivor. Yeah, I can see him. Well, there's somebody over there.
Doesn't look to be in too much danger. He's just roaming around. No? The hell with it. <laughs> I want the SMP9, and that's where I'm going to next. So next stop is the Wapanisha Horde. Yeah, for this I'm going to take some ammo for the US 5.56. So we're very close to the Wapanisha Horde. That's their daytime location at that cave. And I'm not going to be so brave this time. This time I'm going to use an easy kill location. Just to take them out. I'm tired of running. <laughs> so there it is. That cave right there. We're going to give them a little bit of a wide berth because the easy kill location is right on top of them. Those rock formations just literally on top of the cave. And my bike is still loud. I think these guys have a sixth sense though. Because I, I didn't do anything. Look at that, they're already, they're already out and about. Jeez, is the bike that loud? That don't matter. Hey, is somebody taking pot shots at me? Yeah, I think I just heard a gunshot. Step right up, boys. That's another reason this location is really awesome. Because it's unlikely that they're going to get to you. Especially if you take out as many as you can early on. Realistically though, there's only 75 of them, so... Nothing to really worry about. Still not going completely trigger hackby on these guys. I'm always thinking about ammo. Uh, there's not too many left now. <laughs> I think I just ran out of bullets for that one. Here we go. Here we go. I, I can feel it. I don't care. That's what I care about. The 10%. Yeah! Oh, that is a sweet little item to have in the arsenal. Oh, looks like if there were marauders, they're, uh, they're done. Where are you going? Ugh. See, that's so weird. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Now I'm gonna have to get to a camp or an MMU and, and grab it, but um, yeah. That's another horde killer weapon to have. Oh, my bike screwed up and I will not be able to get it now. Thanks a lot. That's all right. I need to get the free careers anyway. Might as well do that. Yeah, always. <sighs> okay. Wasn't expecting to be able to actually get back. No, no, no. Uh, here we go. Guess what's going to happen? Yep. Yep. Ah! Yep. <laughs> I was all set. I, yeah, I hit the joystick the wrong way and it backed me up. And All right. 
So that is the Wapanisha Horde taken out, and now I'm going after some loot locations. Right there at Iron Butte. Fortunately, we took out the rippers at the MMU, so I don't have to worry about a huge battle on my hands once I cross over, which is the reason why I'm kind of sneaking over there now, even though it's later in the day, the sun's in the wrong side of the sky. No. Oh. But there's still plenty of time to make it. I'll make it. Yep. There are three actual awesome loot locations in Iron Butte. So here we are again. Look familiar? Because <laughs> we did this the first time. And for those tuning in to this last adventure, yeah, walking up these rocks. Oof, that was close. I, but there you go. So that's step one. To shortcut our way past these barricades into Iron Butte. And then step number two. Just angle the bike and let Deke's legs of steel take over. Essentially, we're going towards the MMU. But there's a couple of pit stops, two in particular, in this area that we're going to park the bike at and make our way up. Yeah, this is, this is the end game now for this adventure. To be able to just... Take all of that weaponry and the skill set of being able to pack away twice as much. And look at that. Now, there's four items there. It'll only show you three, though. There's a flashbang that was part of that box that doesn't show up when Deke picks that stuff up. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get down there as soon as possible. Because the sun moves across the sky pretty damn fast. I really don't want to lollygag anyway. But fortunately, the second loot location is right at the crossroads of that barn and that farmhouse. Oh, okay. How many people you killed today, huh? There you go. I didn't know there was a rescue operation at this location, but look at that. Huh. Help! 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 I need help right here! Help! Yeah, take it easy. Moving back. Hang on, pal. I got gotcha. you. It is Ripper territory, after all, so I'm not surprised, hey, but... Hey, 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 okay. Hey, hey, it's not safe out here in the shit. I know where there's a camp that... What? What? Camp? It's camp? Where? Where? Show me. I'll go. Yeah. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Oh, man. Thanks. Thank you. I was done for. Holy shit! I was, I was a goner, you know? Whew. Thank you so much, man. I can't. Thank you. Thank you. Name's Deacon. They know who I am. Don't stop. Just keep out of sight. <laughs> and sometimes rippers have really awesome stuff, so I'm just gonna raid these guys before we move on. Yeah, I took some. Uh, take some back. <laughs> But the second loot location, yeah, is up this way. So before uh, engaging those rippers, you normally would not have them there, but 
They were there this time and just head left. And at the end is another box just full of stuff. Now there's a growler here, so later stages of the game, when you have a napalm molotov, this is this just is bonus. A lot of proximity mines are almost full capacity. That's amazing. Not that I use them much anyway myself, but... Alright. Now it's time to get serious about uh, that MMU because the uh, rays are getting long. And again, I don't want to be stuck out here at night. Yeah, not that far from the MMU at all. Which is fortunate, as the sun starts to dip. I'm gonna just check this out. Anything along the way? Oh yeah, scrap. Beautiful scrap. I mean, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with kerosene, but also... A neat little suppressor find right there. I already have them, so... Alright. I'm just gonna take a little break here. And there's one more amazing loot location. Further, a bit further south. I'm just gonna. I probably should have just waited to loot the cop car. Because it loaded me up on machine gun ammo that I could have just gotten at the MMU. Oh well. Can't think of everything ahead of time. Yeah, that's not, I should have done this. But here's what I want. There, there it is. <laughs> the SMP9. What a thing of beauty that is. With the little stubby, which is a set. It's an amazing replacement for Boozer's shotgun. And then having... The SMP9 as well, a, a wonderfully accurate weapon, as well as a decent horde killer, because it's a fast loading weapon. Meaning, you change out the clip faster than most weapons. I'll just fill that up. I still got some time. I'll do a little, a little scavenging. I won't find much, I don't think. Well, go for scrap. I can carry a quite a bit of scrap now. So it's definitely worth taking the opportunity to loot once you've gotten that carry that weight skill. You can just acquire so many more crafting materials. Sock him away into that magic, <laughs> magic sack that Deke has over his shoulder. And a magic pouch. Says, hear a bug call my name. All right. I'm just advancing uh, time a little faster than normal.
So we're gonna go pick up uh, one more stash of loot from a Ripper Lookout Tower. Which is just up the road here. Right there. Now I'm gonna park here. Cause sometimes there's a sniper waiting for us. <laughs> but maybe not today. Anyway. This tower, let me just give you a bead. Look at that, look at that crate full of loot. Isn't that wonderful? And it's not that far off from the MMU, just heading south of it. Now there are four items in there. I'm gonna max out on the Molotovs, but you'll notice that when we pick it up, so we've got a grenade, smoke bomb, proximity mine. Yet again, only three are displayed when he picks them up. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we'll fill up on the tin because we're not going to come back here anyway. So right there, those three loot locations here in Iron Butte are a butte. <laughs> I'll take that. All right, now let's get back to Lost Lake. So basically, we're going back the way we came now. We pretty much looted this location for everything that it was worth. And we only spent the one night, so that's not those those loot locations aren't going to respawn. But again, as we approach our exit point, you gotta watch out for a sniper. Take a wide enough berth. Should be able to avoid it. Assuming there is one. There may not be. Oh, but there's some breakers over there. We gonna have trouble? Stay down, my lovely. There we go. that tin. Oh, what the, oh, Jesus. Well, better have a look around. Am I hurt? No. Everything's all good here. I feel like taking that one out. All right. Anything up here? No. 
Okay. Time to head back to Lost Lake and grab some more loot from Sherman's camp. Expected. Now we just gotta get out of here. So far, we are extremely lucky on the uh, raider attacking side of things because. Well, I was expecting a few sharpshooters. There haven't been any. Ah, oh, there's a couple of guys screaming back there. Not gonna worry about them. This might be worth a once over. I can already see some kerosene. Okay, let's take a look around. Yeah, we will take a look around. Uh -oh. Maybe useful. Bottles are good. I like bottles. And kerosene is always welcome. Oh, sure. Come on, pal. Walk right up. I can't... You woke up? Did I wake you? I'm so sorry. Here, go back to sleep. Uh, medical supplies. Uh, we're good on everything. So now we max out our kerosene, but... We have plenty of beer balls that we can go get, and still two more kerosene cans that we can get, uh, that we can fill up on. Not so hard. That did it. That did it, but is there anything here? Nah. <sighs> Gotta break out of here. Okay. Got it. And away we go. Yeah, I know, it's not back that way. Because <laughs> we're going to Iron Mike's. Because there are two berries that we can pick up for uh, stamina cocktails. Since we do have the ability to craft that item now, it's worth picking up the resources. And one of them is right here, next to this tree. So after making our journey back from those wonderful loot locations, we're picking up supplies as we go. Since we're heading back to Copeland's anyway, as we're passing things along the way, 
doesn't make any sense to not take advantage of being able to nab those items. Take that. And since we also have the uh, skill to pick up twice as much, so right there, Uh, can't do the wheel when I'm on the bike. I gotta get off the bike. I wonder about the well, we'll uh, just stop off at the mechanic since that's the only vendor available to us. Because if we look, mechanic is all we got. And we've already got quite a bit of fuel. Where the hell's my ratchet wrench? I don't know, pal. Where is your ratchet wrench? Ah, uh, 400 bucks? I don't want to spend that. I don't want to spend 400 bucks because there's so much fuel out in the world. But let's see if we can craft. Yep, so we can craft a few more stamina cocktails. Now we've maxed out on that as well. Everything is just turning up roses as we make our way back to Copeland's camp. I worked at the Humane Society. There's a couple of more places we can stop. One more, particularly on our way to Sherman's camp. And that's this location right here. which I'm sure will yield a few things that we can pick up. Yeah, Deke, use the front door. It's right there. <laughs> Another bottle. Another rag. And kerosene. So now we can craft a whole other Molotov right there, right from this house. Excellent. Anything in here? Nope. All right. Let's check out back. Anything there? Oh. Kerosene. Rag. Wouldn't it be great to find a bottle somewhere? I think it'd be great to find a bottle, but we may not. I think we've picked this place clean. Okay, Sherman's Camp, next stop. Next stop, Sherman's Camp. Yeah, if y'all are wondering why I go off-road so often, <laughs> Well, let's just say that it's safer. <laughs> All right, I hadn't intended to do that, but that was cool. I like that. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Take care of the freakers. I gotta finish burning out this infestation zone. <laughs> yeah, you guys take care of that. There we go. Two smoke bombs ready to go. Yeah, they've taken care of the marauders. So we'll just scoot up this way. One last batch of looty goodness. And that's right here. 
We've got rags, and we especially got flashbangs and attractor bombs. Nice. a nest right there. But that's not our mission. We'll come back to that eventually. Won't be too difficult. Now one more obstacle we gotta worry about. And that's that uh, barn right there. Because depending on the scenario, there could be a sniper or there could be a survivor rescue. Or nothing. So far, we haven't been uh, caught up with anything. All right. Deer crossing. Well, I guess you don't have to worry about traffic. No more, <laughs> <do you? laughs> uh. Oh, we'll pick up some meat. Just gotta watch out for those guys. Oh my god, I love this little stubby too. Wow. <laughs> to have this gun early game, like I said, for me, it's going to be a game changer. Okay, so as we're approaching the threshold, going from one region to the next, this is, this is our exit point. And it's a simple drive. You don't have to, there's no mountain climbing, there's no legs of steel, there's none of that crap. It's just a simple drive across the threshold. Because what's gonna end up happening is as soon as we pass these two trees, or that tree, we just end up on the other side. And that's the path. And uh, if you try to go back, They'll just send you right back. Oh. This might be worth something. Why are you so angry? Why are you so angry in the morning? You didn't have breakfast? Ah. Uh. Right here, pal. There you go. You good? Let me get you out of there. Yeah. I'm die out here. I know over camp where it's safe. <laughs> where? 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 Sh show me. I'll go. I'll go. Now, this is really interesting. You know what? Iron Mike's you go. At the Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Oh. I was done for. Holy shit, you know? Thank you so much. Oh, man. Name's Deacon. I know who I am. Keep your head down and run. Although you should be running that away, not that away. But whatever. We're about to be home. And like I said, as far as the gas supply goes. There's a nice little, nice little uh, refueling station right up this way. Now we can.
can even pick up some plants too. So essentially we've uh, now come full circle on our trip. That's where we picked up our first injector. Oh yeah, now, now we can fill, fill this up here. And we'll be in excellent shape. And so will you, once you've completed this, to start be... the game. To really start the game. <laughs> to, to worry about Boozer again. I'll totally miss that one. <laughs> That's all right. Well, we've got a nice uh, bunch of free careers. Now uh, we can drop off. It's that drifter. Open up. So, uh, why are you here? Ago, we Whatever. So, you know, we can, uh, Reload on a couple of things. Now, you can always stop off at the kitchen where I'm just going to show you since this is the first time. But I've got three deer meat that uh, I know we're going to use later in a mission. So we're not going to hand anything off to them. They can starve. <laughs> Hello there. Hey, Deke. I uh, heard you were thinking about heading north up to Smith Rock or some shit. Yeah, Boozer told me a few days back. Where the hell is he anyways? Where is he? Look, I'm just here to turn in some... Yes, yeah, we're, we're going to be riding north. We just... It's time to move on. Just listen, man. I'm, uh... I'm ready to move on, too, you know? I'm like you. I grew up around here. Yeah, Cope's been good to me, but... A lot of ghosts, you know? Look, yeah. you and Boozer head north. Take me with you. I'll see ya. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alrighty, now that we're back in a region where camps actually have Good choice. merchants of death, <laughs> weapons officers, you. it's really a simple task now to be able to rearm the US 556 that we picked up in Iron Butte and use it as much as we want. With a little stubby there, and now adding to that the SMP9. This is this is a hell of a loadout. Come by any time. Add that with the gas tank that we have. It essentially means that any destination within Cascades and Belknap is easily accessible. If you're working on a difficulty level that has fast travel, even better. You just shave minutes off game time that way. Suffice it to say too that now that you know how to exit the region with this maximum sized gas tank, all exploration into the nooks and the crannies of every mountain, hillside, village, whatever you want to do is within easy reach. I mean, I came back here just to finish the series and say, okay, we've gotten Deke OP ASAP. And before we take off, we're actually just going to look and see what we've accomplished. So we've increased our stamina to the max. Health is halfway there. We've achieved level one at all the camps down south, plus built up a nice healthy cash reserve should we need it. And as we take a look at our storylines, well, we still got Boozer to worry about. <laughs> But we've taken care of a whack of infestation zones. Crazy Willies was the first one, actually. And then a couple of ambush camps to get us our recipe for stamina cocktail. And then the biggest part was the horde killer one where we killed these four in order to get the SMP9.
and just taking a look at where we started and what we've done. Too bad we can't move the cursor south because we'd see a whole lot of more areas cleared out. But that's it. That's the start of the game. Even though it was a massive journey to get to this point, I hope you found tremendous value in coming along for the ride and picking up whatever tidbits are going to make your adventure that much more interesting. As always, thanks for watching. Be good to yourself and others you meet out there.